Hi, Bernie Bears, it's Mrs. Gomez, and I have for you today, in honor of Women's History Month, a short little video on the bio on Maeve Jemison, who you also had access to the read aloud on. Um, in addition to that, I want you to stay tuned right after the short little bio video because Mrs. Noel has recorded a special directed drawing of Mae Jemison. So you'll want to get your pencil and your paper ready and even some crayons or maybe some um, color pencils so that you can draw along with her. May Carol Jemison was born on October 17, 1965 in Decatur, Alabama. May always loved science. She loved being outside and looking up at the stars, knowing that one day she would travel to space. May is highly educated. She enrolled into Stanford University at the age of 16. May got her medical degree from Cornell Medical College and worked as a doctor for a few years. She traveled to other countries to help as a doctor as well. When she returned, she decided to follow her childhood dream of going to space. So she applied to NASA's astronaut training program, and guess what? She was accepted. She became the first African-American female astronaut and the first African-American woman in space on the shuttle Endeavour. In 1993, she became the first real astronaut to act in an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation. She not only speaks English, but she also speaks Russian, Japanese, Swahili, and she now spends her time overseeing the Jemison Group and the Dorothy Jemison Foundation for excellence. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mae Jemison is an incredible individual that we can learn so much from. And we have now, following this, you're going to have a, a directed drawing with Mrs. Noel, where she's going to guide you through a quick little video on drawing a picture of Mae Jemison. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, boys and girls, grab your pencil and your paper so that we can draw. We're going to start at the towards the top of our paper and we're going to start with a circle. Just go around. That's our head. Now we're going to add some ears to the side of the head. It's like a C. Then like a backward C on this side. For the hair, we're going to start at the ear, go up and around to the other side. Just follow the circle around and stop. We're going to add our two eyes, two circles inside the big circle. Try to make them about the same size. Put your two dots. Let's give her four to five lashes. On each side. For the nose, we go a loop here, a loop here, and then in the middle. Let's add a smile and some lips. The lips are like hearts, so you kind of go around. And you add a little at the bottom. There's her mouth. Now for her neck, two straight lines down, not too long. We're gonna make a, top, a shirt neck, so curve around. If your line does not touch, it's okay. Just go down. Miss Noel, her line didn't touch either. Just go down and fix it. So now we're going to take this line and curve around on both sides. Another curve again. This time, make them connect. And add an accent line. From the end, go down on both sides. Now we're going to make the astronaut's helmet. So from this end of the shirt, go up and around. To the other end. We're going to do some little accent marks. So let you know it's, it's shiny, it's a helmet. 
All right, looks good. Now at this point, all that's left is to customize it to how you want it. I'm gonna color her hair black. So if you have a black crayon or black marker, just go ahead and fill her hair in black. I'm just doing it really fast, so just so you can see, I'm just filling in her hair. If you want to fill in her top, go ahead and do that with the color of your liking. I'm just going to write USA on mine. Because I know she was a United States of America astronaut. And now we're done. And every good artist knows that you sign your drawings. So don't forget to sign your drawings. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep drawing.